Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I have Hank and Duke with me. They have no school today. It's a 50 degree day. Hank is holding the camera, so if it shakes a little bit, we'll blame him. But I've made a deal with them. I said if we can catch three bass today, we will go to one of the playgrounds on the river here. We've got a choice of two or three different playgrounds we could pull up to. But the water is in the low 40s. I don't think we can make it happen, but it's a nice day, so we figured we're gonna try. I've got here the new Berkeley Money Badger. This thing is one of the hottest baits to be talked about for quite some time. I've heard about this now for a year and a half. Berkeley has been telling us how good it's gonna be. It's gonna replace the wiggle wart. It is a wide wobbling bait. It's got a ton of hunting action, and it's one that we're gonna see if we can make it work. I'm excited to try it finally. Uh, I think it's just hit the shelves, I think. Uh, needless to say, it's called the Money Badger, and they're being kind of brash, because on the bottom of it, there's a little dollar sign. So if you're gonna go ahead and put the dollar sign on a bait, it better be good, it better be money. So I don't know what's gonna happen today. Like I said, the water's really cold. We've got a day, it's 52 degrees here, and it's nice, relatively calm. I don't know that we're gonna be able to make anything happen, but we are gonna try. I'm gonna try my darnest to get these kids to the playground. I don't even know how long we're gonna make it last in the boat, but let's see what we can do. First time throwing the money badger. I'm looking forward to seeing what this guy can do. It's a cool looking bait. Uh, I will say it's got a nice transfer system in it, so therefore it casts really well. I've made about, I don't know, 10 or 15 casts with it and decided to make a video. But it's got a good transfer system, really wide wobbling. The lip shape on it is completely different, and I think that's what allows this bait really to hunt very well. It, it, just, it just feels like it's walking through the rocks, and that's what I want it to be doing right now. I want to feather this thing through the rocks and see if we can generate a few strikes. So. Let's get to it and see what we can do. Uh oh, we got one. Ooh, nice one too. Money Badger, Hank. Money Badger. Well, we gotta catch him. Nice small mo. Come here, fish. The water's so cold. I don't really want to grab you, but we're just going to do that. On the old money badger, if you can see the dollar sign. Man, he is cold, Hank. That water is cold, 45 degrees. Not a bad one. Pushing a couple of pounds. Let him go. All right. That did not take too long, Hank. Uh -uh. No. No, if you guys have seen this yet, this is a Berkeley bait called the Money Badger. They're bold enough to put a dollar sign on the bottom. If you're gonna do that, it better be a good bait. This is the six and a quarter size. Gonna be a beauty for fish in the river here. Uh, just perfect colors. We just tied it on and uh, that didn't take long at all. Let's see if we can catch another. All right, so we are just on our local river. Hank and Duke have no school today. Right guys? No school tomorrow too. They've got like a little bit of a fall break and uh, because it's about 50 degrees, sunny, we figured we'd get out on the water. I got these money badgers in the mail yesterday, so I really wanted to try it, see uh, if I could generate a strike or two. We've got water temps that are in the low 40s. We actually had skim ice on some of the backwaters this morning, so it's quite cold. Uh, but anyways, what we're doing today to try to generate a couple strikes is we're fishing some of these deeper, these rocky banks that are have some of these deeper sections where, let me show you a little closer. You can see here, we've just got, you know, a deep water hole right here. 
And then we've got some rock that comes off this bank. So the idea being that with it being a little nicer and sunny, maybe some of these fish will slide from their wintering areas up onto the flat. Generally speaking, when you're talking about water that's this cold on the river here, it's not gonna be a good bite. I figured if we could get one or two bites, it would be a successful day. So we've already got one and we've been out for about 15 minutes. We're gonna see how long we can make it today. You never know when you got the kids in the boat. I'm watching, but be careful. That wasn't it? Okay. That was it. Did you see that? I, I saw it. Got one, Hank. He clobbered that on the paws. Feels good. Ah, he's an okay one. I need one more if we get it in. <sighs> Small keeper, maybe. Yeah, getting chunky. Cold. He hit that hard, Hank. Almost. There's one. Nice one. That's a good one. Boy, he ate that thing good, too. Look at it, he's got it T-boned. Look at him. Hold on. He's got that thing as T-boned. Well, that one just popped out, but. Sharp. Fusion 19 hooks on there, catching big old smallmouth like that. That one's probably, I don't know, two and three quarter with that belly. Two and a half, two and three quarter. They are cold, people. Very cold. Okay, he crushed that. For this cold water, he really crushed that hard. I want to point out something the way I'm fishing this. It's a, uh, I'm not really retrieving it with my handle. I'm just retrieving it with my rod. I'm just sweeping motion. I'm just sweeping it like that, stopping it. I'm trying to feather that crankbait through the rocks. Just a real slow feathering motion. And that's what's been generating those bites. So I'm not even real turning the reel handle. I'm just, just pulling it with my rod tip, trying to keep it down on the bottom and kind of just slowly weave it through those rocks. The one thing I'll tell you with this, money badger is it it's a great hunting bait i mean it's one of those baits like the old wiggle wart where when you retrieve it you feel it going like all over the place and i love that and this slow pull i can just feel it feels like it's trying to hunt around the rocks it uh you definitely get a different feel out of it than say your your square bill uh it's just it's just you feel it hunting and right now i'm digging this thing i mean if I'm catching them right now in low 40 degree water temp, I want to know what I'm going to do when they're a little bit more active. Because at this point, we've been out for, what time is it? We've been out for 48 minutes. I've caught three. And uh, yeah, and they're, and they're hitting it hard, which is the cool part. You know, I'm, they're, they're hitting it on the paws and you're just feeling that solid, solid clobber. So this is pretty cool.
I wasn't expecting to catch a fish today, so total bonus. Well, we executed on the three fish. Yep. Hank and Duke yep. are heading that way to the playground. So guys, you can run over there. I'll be right there. There goes one. There goes two. Those are some little monkeys. I'm pretty lucky to be able to pull up right here on the river, downtown Stevens Point. It's a very nice town. For those of you that have not visited this area, it's a uh, just got everything we need. Like several playgrounds right on the river. And uh, today was fun. We fished an hour and 20 minutes. We made it happen. We got the uh, money badger to work in this really cold frigid weather not too many days like this left for me up here right now we've got winter coming fast and uh i'm enjoying every one i'm gonna get out as much as i can try to catch a few fish for you guys thanks for watching stay tuned we'll have another one coming tomorrow